My question is related to the dower that is the meher. Uh, three basic questions. Once married, can it be increased? That is the meher, can it be increased? Secondly, is the wife legal for the husband without the payment of meher? And what is the right time for the uh, meher payment? The sisters have basically three questions. First, that once the marriage takes place, the car has taken place, can the dower be increased? Secondly, can the marriage be consummated without the payment of dower, the meher? And the third is that when is the right time for payment? Sister, once the meher has been stipulated and once nikah takes place, then it cannot be changed. Before the nikah taking place, if they want any revision and there's a discussion between the would-be spouses and if they change, there's no problem. But once the nikah has taken place, the meher has to remain the same. Point number two, that can the marriage be consummated without the meher being paid? Sister, there are three types of meher in terms of payment. One is that the complete meher amount can be paid at the time of nikah or just before nikah. That's number one. The second is that part can be paid during nikah or just before nikah and part can be paid later on. And the third type is that the complete amount can be paid later on. This is by mutual consent of both the would-be husband and wife. All three types are Islamically valid. And if it has been agreed upon that part will be paid before nikah part afterwards or completely afterwards the nikah can be consummated there's no problem at all but before the husband dies it has to be seen that the meher amount that has been stipulated has to be paid and just in case if he dies from his wealth whatever balanced wealth he has the meher amount will have to be paid to the wife and then the balanced property if there are any debts of anyone else it will have to be paid and then it will be divided according to the laws of the Sharia. But marriage can be consummated without the meher being paid if it has been agreed upon before. And before dying, the complete meher should be given to the wife. And if the meher is not given from the property that is balanced after his death, it should be given first and then divided among the inheritance. Hope that answers the question, sister.